Hello, this is Aaron with Anacomputers from Anacomputers.com with another video. This one I filed under Surfing the Web. Ubuntu Web Server, how I fixed Apache 2 after Ubuntu 14.04 upgrade. I decided a few hours ago, this was written already on October 28th, so it wasn't literally equivocally a few hours ago, but neither here nor there. I decided a few hours ago to take a daunting leap forward and upgrade my Ubuntu web server to 14.04. I recently upgraded another computer from Ubuntu 12.04 to 14.04. I was pleased with an outcome. I upgraded a laptop running Ubuntu 12.04 to 14.04 and it actually worked out quite well. It actually resolved some issues that I was having with my current Ubuntu 12.04. I think it was starting to run sluggish, but anyways, that could be another video for another day. I decided to perform same upgrade on my web server. Things went pretty smooth until I realized Apache 2 was failing to start after this upgrade. To my dismay, my web server was broken after upgrading from Ubuntu 12.04 to 14.04. I received these error messages below. The Apache 2 config test failed and here's an output of that config test failure was Apache 2 syntax error on line 210 of Etsy Apache 2 Apache 2.conf syntax error on line 1 of Etsy Apache 2 mods enabled ruby.load cannot load user slash lib Apache 2 slash modules mod underscore ruby.so into server slash user lib apache2 modules mod underscore ruby.so cannot open shared object file no such file or directory action config test failed so it was quite everything else was went fine it went i mean it, it was very smooth my ubuntu web server is i designed it so it's basically command line only to access it but I didn't receive any of the problems, but a big horror was that the HTTP protocol would not fire up because Apache 2 was not working. So that turned into a nightmare, but then I fixed it, and it didn't take me that long to fix, thankfully. The Apache error log may have more information. Yeah, well, actually, it didn't. <laughs> actually, an Apache error log did not have more information. I fixed that line 210 error by removing Ruby as an enabled mod with this command. It didn't matter because even on my previous web server operating system of Ubuntu 12.04, I wasn't using Ruby anyways. But still, it's, it's a nagging error. And with Apache, if you do not correct errors, a lot of the errors, most errors, it will not start up correctly. So I... Fixed it by removing. The rm command just removes whatever you tell it to remove. rm slash etsy slash apache2 slash mods under well dash enabled slash ruby dot load. All that did was it removed this this file right here ruby dot load in the mods enable for apache2. Once you remove that file then Apache will no longer try to load Ruby. Continuing on, I then tried to start Apache 2 with, quote, Apache 2 CTL start command. And there is a space between the L and the start. Under, unquote. I received an error again, only this time it changed to As I just made a quick adjustment, my speakers were plugged in and sometimes, it, you know, I could have feedback, but hopefully not. Anyways, Apache 2 syntax error on line 214 of Etsy Apache 2 Apache 2.conf. Could not open configuration file Etsy Apache 2 httpd.conf, no such file or directory. That's correct. On my prior configuration I did not use a httpd.com file you don't necessarily have to use that with Apache so here's how I fixed that error I fixed this error by creating a blank httpd.com file using a quote touch 
and then space forward slash Etsy forward slash Apache 2 forward slash httpdd.conf unquote command. So all you, a touch command, all that does is create a file or a folder. or just, Well, folders are files in Linux. All it does is it creates a new file. It touches it, and then there's no items in that file. It just creates a blank file. An httpd.com file is not needed on my web server, but just creating a blank file with a name of httpd.conf cleared that error. I then tried to start Apache 2 yet again, and it worked. Wrong. It still would not work. Well, what do you know? Another error message. To my chagrin, exactly. AH00526 syntax error on line of Etsy Apache 2 Apache 2.conf invalid command lock file perhaps misspelled or defined by a module not included in the server configuration action start failed I resolved that error by replacing this line so I replaced lock file dollar sign and then Apache underscore lock directory underscore directory except that lock with this one verbatim mutex with a capital M space file colon dollar sign and then within these branches apache underscore lock underscore directory in all caps space default in slash etsy slash apache2 slash apache2.conf that's apache's main configuration file so I just my cursor I replaced this line verbatim with this line Finally, Apache 2 started successfully this time. I tested two of my websites hosted on this newly upgraded to Ubuntu 14.04 web server. Both websites were accessible, and now I could <laughs> breathe a little bit easier. Yes, I make a little bit of money off my website. It's very important that I have my website up because of I have a computer repair business. I also sell blah, blah, ad nauseum ad infinitum. What's the point of having a website, multiple website, on a web server if it does not work? Anyways, hopefully this information was productive, and I will leave a link to this URL on my website, anetcomputers.com, so that you can peruse this blog post at your own accord, with, and then so that you can, if you also run into these kind of errors, then you can copy, you can literally copy and paste like this one into the configuration. I'll, let me, one big caveat. Highly recommended that when you do edit config files that you create a backup. It's very simple. In Linux, you just type in MV space and then let's say you're already in that directory. Let's say you browse to Etsy Apache 2 and you wanted to edit apache2.conf. It's highly recommended, at least by me, to make a backup. All you have to do is do a CD space Etsy Apache 2. So you're changing directory to the Etsy Apache 2 directory. Then you type in MV space and then Apache 2 dot whatever you want to rename it. Excuse, yeah, excuse me, that's wrong. Mo that would be moving it, my bad. Copy, CP. You want to type in CP space and then what you want that file copy to. A lot, most times I just do a CP space Apache 2 and then I change the after the dot to dot back or dot save or whatever. And then for you, whatever makes it convenient or it makes it easier for you. But highly recommended that you create a backup copy just in case. Just in case maybe I fat fingered this. Maybe I didn't type it correctly. Or a lot of times on my fixes, I receive this information from other individuals on the internet, on forums, blog posts, etc. And a lot of times I just copy and paste, but you know how we are as humans. We make mistakes. All it takes is one cr mistake. The M was not capitalized. And then you copy and paste, and then you put it in, and you correct your original Apache 2 config. Well, if you do not create a backup copy, that can cause a problem because you might pull your hair out. You're like, oh my God, I copied it verbatim. Copy and paste. Why isn't this working? 
Well, it was just one little mistake. And so if you had your original backup copy, you can replace it and then you can start afresh. You can start anew and then you can go back to the to this error. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I know I've kind of rambled on, but it's very important, at least to me when I fix my problems on Linux that Anyways, so hopefully this information was productive. So you can always browse to anetcomputers.com for other possible potential tips and fixes to get your most common computer problems solved. Thank you for listening.